Now it's time to hear from our winner in the product vendor tools and technologies category. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the best automation to reduce TOIL tools and technologies award. And now let's give a victory wave to our winner in this category, Opsera. Let's all hear it from the man himself, the co-founder and CTO of Opsera, Mr. Kumar Chivakula. Over to you. So Opsera won the best automation tool to reduce the reduced oil in the tools and technologies category. We are very delighted and uh, excited about this award. We really uh, want to thank you, thank uh, DevOps India Summit and uh, also sincere appreciation to entire Opsera team for their hard work and uh, commitment and uh, support as well. We just want to give a brief, brief, brief background about the company, about the founders, and uh, we'll uh, talk about the, how we are solving the problem with the customers and what is that we're seeing and how we are adding the value proposition. And uh, we'll end with uh, some of the benefits the customers are seeing as part of our solution. So Apsara founded last year and uh, we founded by Chandra Ranganathan. My co-founder is a CEO, myself Kumar Chivukla, CTO, of, uh, co-founder of Apsara. Uh, we backed by uh, venture capitalists and uh, we have a strong group of 40 plus people and growing and we backed by a strong advisory board as well. So what we're solving in the, in the current landscape is uh, with, re with regards to DevOps space, we are, we are a continuous orchestrator and uh, product name is Apsara, company name is also Apsara. Uh, we uh, tagline is and uh, mission and vision is to enable and empower companies to uh, and enterprise companies and DevOps teams to deliver software better, faster and secure. So what we are observing in the industry today, there is a lot of tools, plethora of tools in the market. And then uh, you name it, like when the code commit to code deploy, there are about 10 to 9 to 10 stages at this point of time. And each stage, there are a lot of tools and uh, multiple tools in each category as well. A lot of the time, people are spending time in so integrating right in the glue code and uh, orchestrating them. As a result of that, and uh, each company in each group, and uh, they're having multiple bubbles are created as, as a result of that. And then when you look at the enterprise companies, we see around 15 to 20 tools in average uh, in the CACD space. About three to four months, they're spending time in building them, managing them, integrating them, orchestrating them. And as a result, people are spending about 30 to 40 percent of the time in uh, managing the tools and life cycle of them and right in the glue code of the pipelines. And security and quality is afterthought. It's not uh, been baked into the equation because they're not fully integrated in the CACD space at this point of time. And moreover, the companies are, don't have visibility in terms of what is happening because they have a point, visibility into point solution, but not necessarily across the entire DevOps landscape. The problem is compounded because of multi-cloud and people are going to multi-cloud journey. And then people as part, as part of the digitization, people are adopting on-demand releases to want to de deliver the features to the customers faster. And not to mention like uh, technological changes, right? People started the cloud journey with VMs, then went to containers, then now serverless and top of it microservices. And uh, delivering the software across the landscape of multi-cloud and the technological changes, uh, as well as multiple tools, it is really cumbersome and challenging for the enterprise companies. As a result of that, it is impacting the velocity of the companies and how they can deliver the software and also increasing the risk for the software delivery. There are two approaches people are taking today uh, based on our interactions with the customers, based on in interactions with various uh, analysts as well as industry leaders. About 90% of the people, they are solving this problem through DIY, do it yourself. About 5 to 10% with some custom and the black box solutions. And uh, there are benefits for each of them. And uh, they say there are pros and cons for each of the solutions. In the DIY, people are spending a lot of time in writing the blue code, scripts, and then try to work on integration. And the uh, skills demand is also challenging. Finding the skill, finding the right skills in the market is challenging too. And then on the other side, black box solutions, it's hard to rip and replace what you have, what people have and try to go to the enterprise. A black box solution is very cumbersome, challenging, and time consuming and expensive as well. We, we took the best of the both worlds and created the white box orchestration where in which we want to give the maximum choice, maximum freedom with no code automation. How are we are solving this problem? We're solving with three-prong approach. One is the tool chain automation, where in which customers will have a choice and where they can bring their own tools or provision from our catalog and then easily integrate them. And then they can track the inventory and be able to manage the entire life cycle of the tools as part of the tool chain. And the second part is building the no-code pipelines across multiple use cases. We support our common unified architecture, allows the people to build the no-code pipelines across software engineering lifecycle, 
infrastructure as a core and SaaS applications, namely Salesforce and uh, Adobe Experience Manager, then Dell Boomi, or you have uh, various uh, uh, SaaS applications like Workday and uh, ServiceNow. You can also integrate quality security gates. Our microservice architecture enable the customer to build these pipelines in a drag and drop manner without writing any code into the in the first place. As a result, customers can easily integrate with security gates, quality gates, and the ITSM, change management, approvals, what have you. So we, we, customers can easily build these pipelines and also be able to add the, uh, into the security quality in terms of static code analysis, dynamic code analysis, vault, and as well as threat vulnerability management in terms of security, unit testing, integration testing, performance testing as part of the security. Last but not least is about where we offer the unified insights, where in which customers can get the contextualized logs across multiple tools. And today, people have to log into each and every tool and try to get the logs, and they have to, they have to correlate that. With Opsara, we built a data transformer. The data transformer will correlate the logs and sequence them, normalize the data, and contextualize and give you the information to the customers in a matter of minutes, which enable, which will, which is helping them to reduce the MTTR significantly and also come to the identify the root cause issue, root cause of the issue quickly as well. And last but not least, in the unified insights, we took the inspiration from NIST, Department of Defense, and DORA and as well as some of the industry analysts. And we created a, we curated about 100 plus KPAs that spans across planning, pipeline, quality, security operations. And as a result, people can see the, first time they can see the visibility across what is happening in the entire DevOps landscape. What is working, what is not working, what is the security posture, quality posture, and then overall deployment cycle, lead time, productivity, what have you, which enables them to make smart decisions and uh, using the intelligent, da intelligent dashboards. Uh, how we are adding the value to the customers is by taking away the cumber, the challenge that are associated with uh, managing the tools, managing the pipelines. They can focus on delivering the software faster, better, and smarter, and also go to market faster as well. Second one is they can, by integrating the quality security gates, also integrating with change management, collaboration tools, and approvals, and so on and so forth, adding the governance layer, they can deliver the better software and avoid the surprises in the last minute, in the, which is where they, when they go to deployment, we don't want people to discover security issues and quality issues. They want to, we want them to uh, adopt the security by design, quality by design. Then by having the unified insights, having a way to understand and uh, what's happening inside the landscape, they can make intelligent decisions and also do more with less. So we are, I'll give you a few, couple of examples and uh, how customers are uh, getting benefited by that. One of the customer who adopted the solution before Opsera, they used to spend about, uh, for a, one of the customer support application, uh, 20 people used to spend time in a weekly release, and they used to take about four and a half hours. And after Opsera, when they, once, once they streamlined the CACD pipeline, they're able to do it without uh, spending that, money, that much time, and they can do the end-to-end -end deployment in a matter of eight minutes. That's a significant productivity savings. And more importantly, with shift-left approach, they're able to add security and quality gates. And uh, as a result, they're able to in, improve the maturity level significantly. Another company, where we, uh, we, we worked with them very closely. They had a legacy solution. We replaced the legacy solution with Opsera and then also modernized the entire DevOps ecosystem. And more importantly, we enabled them to reduce the deployment time from, it used to take weeks and days in some cases. And uh, we brought it down to like a matter of like less than an hour. And not only that, we also gave the visibility and more importantly, we also enabled them to use the solution as part of like uh, the, the both SaaS applications along with SDLC and IAC uh, categories as well. With that, I just want to conclude and thank you for the opportunity once again to DevOps India Summit. And uh, we wish you the best of luck uh, for the rest of the uh, rest of the summit. And thank you once again for the opportunity to the entire DevOps India Summit panel. Our next category of awards is the product vendor, tools and technologies category. And the runners up in this category for best use of cloud native Tools and Technologies is Sumo Logic Application Monitoring. Without much further ado, let's turn on the spotlight on Mr. Paul Wilcox, VP and GM APAC at Sumo Logic to help us understand more on this project. Mr. Paul Wilcox. Hi and welcome everybody. My name is Paul Wilcox. I'm the Vice President of Sumo Logic for Asia Pacific. Uh, firstly, I'd like to thank uh, the DevOps India Summit 21 for the award we re received this year. It's uh, very meaningful and important for Sumo Logic and we're humbled by it and grateful for the endorsement of our efforts to bring light to the often murky world of machine analytics. Uh, 
Uh, it's particularly gratifying to be receiving this as part of DevOps India Summit. Uh, as we embrace Industry 4.0 in India, I believe we've arrived at a watershed moment. For the team at Sumo, India continues to be a core market for our focus and certainly continues to be one of the most dynamic markets. The country is, is arguably at the epicentre of application development and DevOps and is moving well towards becoming one of the most innovative development environments globally. Uh, I'm thankful to be given this opportunity to provide an insight uh, into some of those things that are going on at Sumo and into what's happening in the industry. Uh, and also for talking to, the, to you, the attendees, um, I believe you've got the world at your feet at the moment and it's a great opportunity to really uh, impart this uh, onto the market and, and make the world a, a better and different place. Right now, all of you have the world at your feet. We do need to recognise that the growth of change is rapid and our ability to respond will determine our success as development houses. As a quick intro to Sumo Logic, for those that haven't come across us, we give organisations such as yours the ability to harness the huge volumes of data you already generate today and at lightning speed, allowing you to understand intimately what's happening in your organisation on that day, in that hour, in that minute, in that second. Success today doesn't come from just setting performance thresholds and having a flashing light go off when something goes wrong. The problem with that and what we used to do in the past is that you need to predetermine what those thresholds are. And it gives us a major point of failure, a point of human failure. Challenges present themselves today that we couldn't have foreseen previously. Containerized architecture makes fault finding very different to what it was before. These challenges are further exacerbated by the requirements to cover not just AWS, but multi-cloud environments. And now the absolute need to monitor, diagnose and troubleshoot critical edge networks like AWS and GCP provide natively, and also third parties like Akamai, Cloudflare and Fastly. And because of that change, at a rapid rate, Indian DevOps houses have across the board shifted away from open source tools and building their own platforms to one which leverages modern scale cloud platforms. Um, Sumo Logic is a great example of that. And we like to think that we bring all of the speed and agility and scalability and elasticity to all of our customers. The main thing is, as organisations mature, the requirement of bringing simplicity to untold complexity becomes a really critical part of your success. Uh, there's important underlying reasons why companies are shifting to the cloud and shifting to platforms like Sumo Logic. And frankly, it's for the same reason that we don't build monolithic apps today. Uh, we build platforms that leverage microservices. We build platforms that leverage containerization. And the reason is it gives us agility. Put very simply, most of the legacy self-built data platforms don't scale quickly. They don't allow individuals and teams and large groups of people to get involved all at once. They're designed to sit on a huge and often fragile on-premise environment. So the challenge there is we tend to build these for a business as usual environment rather than an environment that may be in crisis. By leveraging cloud, we've got the ability to scale up very rapidly and scale back down when we don't need that resource. That sort of complexity is something that you can't afford to build in. You can't build your environments for the worst case, and you certainly can't live by only building your environments for the, for the best case. We're tasked as DevOps teams to now oversee a lot more. We've got significant accountability and oversight. It stands to reason that we need to focus on outcomes there, not making sure that our infrastructure stays up. We're not making sure that our logging platform is, is ingesting all of the right things. None of us want to turn, burn time doing anything but making sure that our apps are working efficiently and our customers are being served. To be wasting time on anything else other than that is a false economy. So as your organisations make that shift, you really do need to make sure you've got access to massive compute power. All of the elegant procedures and workflows that you've built will mean little if the bottleneck is crunching numbers. Companies such as Sumo do that at a scale no single organisation could afford or develop. And we give you the ability to see anomalies. And we do that at an infinite resolution. You can look at this at 70,000 feet and look at very coarse anomalies that are happening within your organisation. Or you can dive right down into nuanced, fine details to find stuff that's different today. It's for that reason that you need a platform like Sumo Logic to be able to crunch those numbers. In DevOps, we've got 
teams across various functions within the organisation. We need to make sure that everybody's got the ability to look at that same data at the same time. You don't want to be limited by your infrastructure. So we give you that ability. We give you a platform that foundationally underpins DevOps and underpins DevSecOps, and we do it for the world's largest organisations. So it's fair to say we can scale to an infinite size. But DevOps, by its very definition, is about moving from being ad hoc. It's about moving from having disconnected technologies, platforms, and people. We bring that together. Sumo Logic allows you to do that at a scale that you've never seen before. It's important that any analytic platform doesn't just give you the answers, but allows every single person in your organisation to get those answers, whether it's at a critical time or whether it's at a planning stage. We give you that. We make sure that those people, whether it's one person in an organisation, 100 people in the organisation or 1,000 people in the organisation, it operates at the same speed and gives everybody the same rich insights in real time. You don't have to put together a search query to get an answer. You can have it all dashboarded across the entire organisation. So. That's what makes our our platform scale so well. It's leveraging cloud and making sure that we have a multi-tenant environment that ensures that every single user has access to our entire compute power. What's important about the way that we operate, what makes our customers our biggest fans, is the solution that goes on top of that. It's not just about scale and elasticity. It's about finding the needle in the needle stack. It's about working out how a failure has happened, whether that be through a flawed app update, a patch that break things, a piece of test code that actually goes into production. We've all been there and we've all hit the panic button when those situations start. It's important that we can get to that very, very quickly. And through machine analytics, through artificial intelligence and through the very scale of our computer capability, we're able to find anomalies in what's going on today versus what happened five minutes ago or what happened a day ago. That AI and that machine learning goes through those terabytes or in some cases petabytes of data to find common differences between today where it's bad and yesterday where it was good. We can do that in seconds, in some cases for a very complex query in minutes, but we certainly don't take the length of time it takes a human or, or for that matter, an on-premise machine to go through and crunch through those numbers. You literally see those answers at the speed of thought. And that means that us as practitioners don't have to hit that panic button, don't have to melt down, don't have to be crippled or or paralysed by the situation that we're in because Sumo Logic gives you the capability to find those answers, find your, find your, or reduce your mean time to um, identification of an issue and mean time then to remediate to very, very small amounts, to to single-digit minutes. So we're giving you the tool set, uh, the capability, but as importantly, the machine analytics and and number crunching power that you could never have internally. By leveraging that, it allows us as practitioners to focus on what we want to do, which is developing incredible applications, uh, making sure our users have an awesome experience and and not have to worry about the infrastructure that brings that to to light. So thank you again to everybody uh, at the OIS Summit. Very, very proud and happy to have received the award this year. Uh, I appreciate the opportunity to talk and uh, I hope you all have a great summit and, and look forward to meeting you all in person, hopefully one time very soon. Thank you.